Hi, Emmanuel here with T2S Transform to Succeed. In this video, I'll be specifically talking about the AT or AT uh, utility or command that you can use on any Linux operating system. And this command or this utility will uh, allow you, enable you to schedule uh, one task or one job at a time on a Linux operating system that will run in the future. And contrary to the other tool that we have on uh, Linux operating systems known as uh, cron, uh, cron tab, which allows you to create cron jobs that you can schedule and you can do more than just one. But the add command allows you to do one at a, at a time and you can schedule to uh, take place in the future and I'm gonna take you to the command line here quick this is uh, this is what I use I'm gonna use Ubuntu uh, for our in our case here today we we'll use Ubuntu in this video I talk about the add command and then in the next video I'll talk about the cron uh, utility or cron tab so the ad allows you to, as I said, it allows you to schedule commands to be executed or run at a specific time in, uh, in the future. But before using the ad command, first you have to make sure that it's, uh, it's already installed on your, on your system. And, and how do you know whether it's installed or not? And it's sometimes, you know, I, I just just do this. And if you do the which, you use the which command and then specify whatever utility or tool. And remember, everything on Linux is, uh, it's a file, okay? So, so the, that's how you, you would know that it's, like in my case here, it's already installed. If it's not, what you have to do, then you have to go and use the apt command, which is a, which is a package man uh, management tool on the Debian uh, systems like Ubuntu, uh, which is what I'm using now in this video, and I'll use still Ubuntu in the next video when I talk about uh, cron jobs. So you, you can do this. Uh, do update and this is just to update all of your packages and libraries uh, on your system Then you run that in my case it, it it won't do anything because everything is up to date And then the next thing that you're gonna need to do is apt sudo apt uh, uh, Get install at and run this command and mine is already installed and that's why we uh, didn't do much here next i would uh once it's in installed you're gonna need to uh start the system or start the the application or the the the, the tool or the package uh it's gonna be system start system ctl start atd that's the daemon like the driver of this uh, add utility and then press enter. Then you're gonna have to uh, make it persistent. So uh, it's a system uh, CTL enable. It's gonna make it persistent, meaning that when you turn off and back on your system, the, the package, the, the ATD daemon will be uh, still running. So that's done and you can verify if your system is uh, running by using the system CTL status ATD it's gonna say running you see here it's running and press the letter Q on your keyboard then you go back to your uh, to your prompt so you kind of like clear the screen here and once once you do that then you can play the, with the command like at 5 p.m. And, and then when you have uh, something like this, you can add, you can add 
like a path to uh, your script here. So you can do something like this. And this is a shell script that I assume that you have already made. Uh, and then, then for instance, you can, I can, I can show you quickly how you can do this here. So let's say, let's say uh, we want to uh, set up to tell our system that that at the at, at the end of this week you need to uh, update the entire system. So I'm gonna create a script here uh, here to say update sh. You remember bash shell scripting uh, scripts they need uh, this extension here that dot sh, and then nano is uh, an editor. It's a tool that you can use to edit. Uh, you, you can create at the same time, and then it's going to allow you to enter content, uh, whatever content that you want to have on this specific Bash Shell script. You can use, use also the Vim or VI, uh, the two of the other editors that you have out there so i'm gonna press enter and it's gonna give me this uh here i'm gonna close it for now Control x that's what i did so i'm gonna do sudo update sh uh okay sudo nano sorry so sudo it's a command that allows you to run uh command or script as as a super door meaning you're using privileges that only the root can, uh, root user can use so i do that and it takes me to this um prompt here and then why the first time i mean it took us to the same prompt but a prompt but when you look I don't think you can see this. So let me minimize, uh, like zoom out just a little bit. If I zoom out a little bit, you see here, it says new file. Uh, but the, the first one, when I did the, uh, entered the command, I ran the command uh, nano update.sh, uh, here at the bottom, it says in red. Uh, I can give you an example here. So let me get out of here. So let's go to the, the other command here without sudo. So if you do that, you see at the bottom here in red, it says is not writable. And then that's because, because we were using this word here on top, update, for a user to update the system, they need to be either the root user meaning the, the, the user that has access and all permissions to do anything uh, on any resource that you have on your system. But then some other users can also play the same role, like roots, but like the root user, but not becoming root, but they can assume they can assume some privileges just like the root user. And that's when they need to use the user, the super doer, uh, uh, you know, like a, a command. I'm going to X out of this. That's control X. And then I go back to use sudo. And now you make sense of what's going on. So to, to do this, what we have to do, we have to do what we call the uh, shebang. So you do the shebang, so it's gonna be bin bash. And then when we get to learning here, uh, when we, we, we get, to, you know, in, in, at my training, the training that I offer, we, we have a section dedicated to bash shell scripting and then we go deeper into this but but what, when you look at this here so while you see when you write a bash shell script you begin with a shebang and then you 
define the type of shell that you want to use. So we're going to use bean bash because that's the shell that we're using here. And, and, and what we want to do, uh, we wa want to add a comment. So that's, uh, that's the hash or pound sign here to say uh, this script is to update the system uh, this week. So we do that and then the next time we would not use the, the hash sign here, the hash sign or pound sign. So we just say sudo update sudo apt get sudo apt update just say update and then we're gonna say dash y so what we're doing here was we're, we're saying the system the, the 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 shell will not run this this is because this is to say this is a bash shell script and then it will skip this because this is a command a comment sorry and then and then it's gonna run this command here to update and I press Control X then shift Y to save and you can change the name at the bottom here so you can change the name if you want to here but I'm not going to do it and what I do I just press enter next and that's done so now we go back to our uh, command here we can say let's say instead of uh, you know looking at the time here at the bottom of uh, it's about uh, 452 as I'm recording this video so I can say at uh, 6 p.m. Uh, what I want to do because remember you need to add the uh, the path so you can just copy if you copy this and then you come here clear the screen then do the at command here so let me make it bigger so that you can see exactly what I'm doing here a shell script what we need to do how we can add this to the at command is just by uh, taking the script here then we want to pipe it to the add command saying it's gonna run 6 p.m. for instance so we do that then we have created a job and I was having some issues uh, trying to do the command here let's say we wanna say 6 p.m. and we wanna pick a date let's say February so we do uh, February I think this is where I was having some issues here so it's gonna be the 17th of February 17th of February uh, 2024 for instance so we're gonna say that and see if that will be okay so we're getting this error because of the the time and and usually you can uh, go around this by either uh, checking if the right is correct I'll give it uh, another try here so starting with uh, the month and if we get stuck we'll get back to something like this by setting up the what we call the NTP conf file so let's give it a try and see and it's working now so uh so it's just the correct uh the syntax here of the date so you start with uh, the month then you have uh, the day and then you have the year so now i clear the screen and i'm gonna list all of the jobs that we have created so we have all of these jobs uh, scheduled individually to happen in the future and how do we remove the jobs so we can remove the jobs by using this command uh, the uh, ATRM so it's just the add command and then the remove command RM together and you can 
select a job ID like job ID number nine or number six, whatever you want. So if you do number four, so it's gonna delete number four. And then if you check again, the, you list the jobs here, four is gone. We'll go ahead and delete uh, all the others. So let's see how many do we have here left. We have those five. I don't know if you can, you can do it you can delete all of them. So let me, let me try. So uh, nine and five and seven and eight and six. So see if we can delete all of them at the same time. Yes, I think we can. So I'm gonna try that and all the jobs have been deleted. And th this is pretty much what you can do with the add command. So just play around and, and, and have fun. So keep growing, keep learning. Thank you for watching. God bless and I'll see you in the next video.